What is going on guys? My name is James or thanks see ya and welcome to another Minecraft mod installation tutorial. So today I'm going to show you how to install the Angry Birds mod and as you might be able to tell we are installing this on a Mac. However, as always, wherever possible, I will try and advise you PC guys as best I can. So yeah, this might look slightly different if you've ever seen any of my other mod installation tutorials before because this mod is on a different website to the site that I usually get my stuff from. But that's not a problem because everything that we need is linked in the description below. So, the first thing we're going to have to go and do is navigate over to the planetminecraft.com Angry Birds mod page. Now, as I said, this is linked in the description, so once we get over here, we are going to want to scroll down a little bit and then find the download mod section. You can't really miss it because it is bright yellow. So, yeah, we're going to click on this and then download the files, and I like to stick them on the desktop because it just makes it a bit easier to keep everything nice and tidy. So, once we have downloaded that, then we need to go and download one more thing. Now, this is Mod Loader, and this is fairly standard for most Minecraft mods. But I didn't find a direct link on this page, so I'll provide a link to Mod Loader in the description below. But alternatively, you can just type it into Google. You'll be located, uh, relocated, I should say, to Risugami's mods page. Scroll down past the FAQ, and then you will find the Mod Loader 1.2.5. So download that as well and just stick it on the desktop. So once we have these two things, uh, it should look a bit like this. So leave the Angry Birds in the zip file itself. However, unzip the mod loader if it comes in a zip file and just get out the folder. So, you know, if we open it, we can get directly into the class files. So once we have these two, we need to go to our Minecraft folder. Now, if you're on a Mac, this is located in your applications. Open in Finder, go to your name, go to library, go to your application support folder, and then somewhere at the bottom, it will be your Minecraft folder. Now, before we do anything, I highly recommend that you back this folder up before you attempt installing this mod. And it's very easy. All you do, you can just copy this and paste it to your desktop so you have a backup copy. So if anything goes wrong in here, you can just delete it and then replace it with the original one. You know, it's just say, better safe than sorry, really, in case you have anything that you don't want to lose. So once you've done that, open it up and then go to the bin and then go to minecraft.jar, right click that, go to open with and then I'm going to be using a program called Springy and this is just another archive tool. If you don't have Springy you can use archive utility or if you don't have any of these you can rename the minecraft.jar minecraft.zip and it will open up a zip file so you can get inside it. But I highly recommend that if you are on a Mac and do mods a lot then get Springy it's really really good. Alternatively if you're on a PC you can use WinRAR. Okay, so I'm going to click on that and it's going to open up. Now, the first thing we're going to do is install Mod Loader. So, very simple, just open up the folder, grab all the files, and just drag them into the Minecraft.jar. It's going to ask us if we want to overwrite stuff. Just click on Yes to All, and then that's that. So, before we leave this Minecraft.jar, click on it, go down to the letter M, locate the meta-inf folder and delete it very very important otherwise it will not work and this is the main reason why people when they install mods that has that black screen or it might crash or it might get stuck on the loading screen a lot of the time it's because the meta-inf folder is still in there so yeah, that is it for the uh, the, the uh, Minecraft.jar folder, I should say. I got a bit confused there, but uh, yeah. Now we've done that, go back to the bin and then navigate back one screen so we're in the Minecraft folder again. And now I have given myself a fresh Minecraft folder, which means I do not yet have a mods folder because I have not ran the game yet. If you are doing this with another version of Minecraft, maybe you're doing this with your current save, you will have a folder in here which says mods all in lowercase lettering. I like to do mine from fresh, so what I'm going to do is click on new folder. I'm going to type in mods and then I'm going to open this. All I need to do, drag in the angry birds and then that's it. It will work. So let's have a go. We're going to go and open it up. So, got my password wrong. There we go. Let's make this a bit bigger so everyone can see. There we go. See, so as you can see, no freezing or screen uh, glitching or anything, which is always a good sign. Let's go to creative so we can get straight into them. And uh, yeah, they should all be somewhere near the bottom of the creative menu, if I remember correctly. So, uh, there we go. There they are. So, we've got a red one and a, uh, let me have a look. Uh, an angry ice bird. So yeah, these fire all normal, and uh, yeah, hope you have a really good time with the mod. I um, 
I actually think that anyone who's really creative could probably make some of the sets from Angry Birds, make them all big and elaborate, and then you could have an amazing time blowing them up. So yeah, I hope this installation tutorial worked. It's been a pleasure. Thank you for watching the video, guys. As always, thanks and